Hey everybody, welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today I'll be showing you how to control Christmas lights using your Raspberry Pi. To do this, we're going to need to use relays. Now relays are basically electronic switches that are used to control higher voltage circuits with a lower voltage input. Let's go take a look at the circuit and I'll talk a little bit more about how these work. So I've got a pretty simple setup here. Before I get into too much detail, I want to talk a bit about the relays here. This right here is an individual relay. It consists of an electromagnet that triggers the circuit to connect the current on a higher voltage input. So right here, I have an old um, electrical cord that I've taken apart and connected it here. We've got these two wires right here. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. These two wires right here on this side of the extension cord go into the relay. So when the switch turns on in this relay, it's going to connect the circuit over here, which will power our Christmas lights. Now, I've got this relay bank. This has eight switches right here. And right here is where um, our inputs go. So when that one flips on, it connects the current, lights turn on. Now on this side here, you'll see that we've got our ground and our voltage inputs on this side. And then there's eight pins in the middle, one pin for each of the relays. I do want to point out the bottom side with these relay banks. There's no protective covering on the back of a lot of them. So you'll want to be very careful when you're using these. Make sure it's not plugged in. Not plugged in. Otherwise, if you touch these while it's plugged in, you could get seriously injured. So please, please, please be careful when working with higher voltage circuits. So let's take a look at this part of it. I just have this button here. I'm going to have it wired up so that when you press the button, the lights will come on. But I'll talk more in detail in a little bit about how to control the lights in other ways. So let's take our ground on this pin. Voltage on the voltage pin. And there, that one on the first one, you can see the light comes on because it now has power. I have the relay hooked up to GPIO 17, and I've got the push button over here hooked up to GPIO 18. So let's head over to the computer now. I'll show you some code, show you how easy this is, and we'll make it work. All right, so here's our code. There's not a whole lot to it. This is pretty simple. We want to, I'm going to be using a GPIO zero here, and we're going to be importing our button and another uh, library here called Output Device. Output Device is pretty much a generic library. It can be used for just about anything that's not already included in GPIO zero. So I'll show you how to use that here with a relay. And we're going to be wanting to use our time and sleep functions, so I've imported those as well. We have our relay defined here as output device on pin 17. Button is on pin 18. And I had to put this arbitrary x equals 0 in here to make the loop function properly. We're going to want to make sure that the relay is first set to off. And then I've got a loop here that's just going to loop indefinitely. You'll see while x is less than 1, not making any changes to x, so obviously it'll always be less than 1, and this will loop indefinitely. We're just going to be waiting for our button press, turn the relay on, wait for a fixed period of time, turn it off, and back to the beginning. So let's run this and see how it goes. All right, so push the button and it lights up. Let's 
make that a little bit longer. Five seconds. There we go. So if you can hear that, the uh, relay is clicking. That's the electromagnet inside the relay connecting the circuit for the wall current. There's no wall current flowing through any parts of the breadboard or the Raspberry Pi. So the relay helps protect all of that since it can't handle that higher voltage. Now, in a real life situation, you probably aren't going to be using a dinky little push button to control your Christmas lights. I figured this would be the easiest way to uh, just demonstrate how a relay works and have a variable input with the push button. But I'd like to mention that there are some other libraries that you can use. One is already built into Python. It's called Date and Time. And if you want to program it to come on at a specified time, say you want it to come on at, say, 6 p.m., stay on for four hours, turn it off, you can do that. And I'll put a link in the description for that. You can check out the documentation on how the date and time library works. There's another one called uh, Pyephrom, I believe is, is what it's called. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well. That library has to be downloaded and installed. There's pretty simple directions on how to do that. But what that will do is link to your geographical location and you, it will uh, monitor for what time sunset is or sunrise, however you want it to work. So you could just have it come on at a pre-programmed time for whenever sunset is. Like I said, I'll put a link to that in the description so you can check it out. You could also use a photoresistor. I made a video on those if you want to check that out. Um, photo, you could uh, use a photoresistor to just detect when it gets dark out, turn the lights on, sun comes up, lights go off. Pretty easy, not a lot to it. I think that's all I've got for today though, so I appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos next week, I'll be continuing my little bit on uh, shift registers again. So be sure to check that out. And if you've got any thoughts, comments, concerns, make sure to let me know below. And I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.